A new insurance program could offer assistance to crop or livestock producers in certain states, including Nebraska. The Rainfall Index Annual Forage Insurance Plan could help producers planting annual forage crops. We recently talked with Jay Parsons, a Nebraska Extension Farm and Ranch Management Specialist, to learn more about the coverage. It's a new insurance product from RMA, and it's being piloted in Nebraska and a number of other states uh, through the middle of the country. Um, and it's really only it's a second year of, uh, of use, so a lot of people don't know about it. But it's basically for annually planted crops that are used for feed or fodder, so livestock uh, use. And they have it set up to where they have a fall growing season and a spring growing season. The producer picks which one uh, matches. Uh, and then they can sign up for it, and it's triggered off of the rainfall index uh, that is published by NOAA. And you decide where you want to put the coverage and so on. How would it compare to that old rainfall index or that? that rainfall index that producers could use? Uh, the rainfall index has been used for the pasture rangeland and forage product, that, which has been around for a number of years for producers. That product is for perennial grasses, and, it's, and you ensure basically two-month intervals anytime during the entire calendar year. Um, so that because it's a uh, perennial pasture type of grass, it's much lower coverage dollar value that you can put on and it's spread out throughout the year. This one is triggered by the same indexes, but it's, uh, it, you can uh, basically put it on fall planted forage, so a second crop following uh, soybeans or wheat or maybe corn harvested for silage or something like that, or spring planted forage that you're trying to get some uh, growth out of and some feed out of uh, in the spring season. Um, so it's quite a bit different. It's annually planted crops versus perennial. Higher dollar value you can put on it because it can be put in irrigated crop land um, and so on. What dates do you need to know for this one? Well, the fall planted dates have already uh, passed. Uh, so you, um, that the fall growing season, fall planted growing season is September 1 to the end of March. And you have to sign up for that by July 1 and it's for anything planted in that period from July 1 to November 15th. Uh, you sign up for it and then you report your acreage later on after you figure out what you've actually planted. The spring one is coming up uh, December 15th is a sign up for that and it's for things planted from December 15th uh, in, into July. Um, so you got March 1 through the end of September is that growing season so it's more of a spring summer growing season on that one. And there's a catastrophic element of this one as well? Yes there is and that's a difference between it and the old uh, or the PRF mm -hmm. from the pasture rangeland and forage um, and that is that you can producers if you're not using it for strictly for grazing so you're planning on uh, you know harvesting some hay off of it or maybe grain off of it or something and then grazing or, or maybe not grazing at all because you're harvesting it entirely for feed you can get catastrophic coverage on it uh, and catastrophic coverage is a flat $300 fee for all the acres in the county so it's very inexpensive it's not figured on two month intervals, but it's the entire seven month growing season and it's 65% of rainfall is the trigger point on that and it's 45% of the productive value. So those two numbers are locked in, those percentages, but it's very inexpensive for producers to get that coverage. PRF, meanwhile, that deadline's coming up? The PRF deadline uh, for the 2016 calendar year, that deadline's coming up uh, on November 15th. So by then, if producers are interested in that, they need to have signed up for it and selected the months they want covered uh, for 2016. The Risk Management Agency has more information available online about the annual forage insurance plan. You can find that through a link on the Market Journal homepage.